I'm doing a little crown shaping on Randy's hat. He wanted a cattleman crown put in here, so I've done a height measurement on it beforehand and uh, put a pen cap in the middle of it to get the center right. This had a Gus crown in it before it was his, uh, one of his dad's old hats, so we're gonna go through some of the process here and put a cattleman crown in this. This is a really old Bailey hat that he had in storage. Uh, hadn't used it for a long time, so he asked me if I wanted to take a crack at it and redo it for him, so I said, sure, why not? When I did the crown measurement, it actually had four inches between here and here. So that's what I'm gonna go with. It's kind of short, but I think it'll be all right. If not, I'll take and raise it back up for him if it needs to be. kind of a treat working on these older hats because typically they shape up better than the newer ones and what I mean by that is the formula that they use for the felt the rabbit and beaver hair that they have in these uh, the percentage of beaver fur is usually higher than the newer hats and therefore they usually shape a little better I don't know what the chemical makeup is but I know they've they probably changed that in them too over the years with the EPA and everything else wanting to make sure that they get everything just you know more user friendly and more safe for everybody in the manufacturing process so but yeah this is how we do it we just do a little bit at a time and just keep plunking away until it looks right and I do some measurements along the way too and make sure, so. A lot of times they get <clears throat> people that ask if uh, I can do this with all hats and I, have, I tell them, I says I have to see the hat because you just never know what the, what the material is like and what I mean by that is what, what I deem as something that I can shape and what they think I can shape a lot of times are two different things. So. That's why I like to always see the thing in person before I give them a yes or a no on it because sometimes people bring me a hat that's a crushable hat that you cannot do anything with. Uh, crushable hats, whatever the shape is that they are, that's pretty much what they are. You really can't uh, do much with them, especially on the crown because they're that's just the way they are. They have no... They, they won't take any kind of a crown change. I mean, you can try it, but it, I guarantee it's not gonna stay that way, but.
So as you can see, it's getting there. I just got to keep plumping with it, and putting the side dents in on it, and uh, it's coming along. So, but that's what it takes to do something like this. So, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you more later. Thanks.